Good morning, everybody. Well, second to last day of Advent, and here we go. Um, so first we're gonna do Phil's Keurig, number 23. Ooh, bear, you got Kahlua. Kahlua. You're right. Original. Yeah, I should add some Kahlua to the Kahlua. Here, take that. Go see, make sure cat didn't die just now. Somebody just sound like they fell. Go check the cats. Nope, they're fine. All right. You can't get birds out the window. Let's do Bon Mon next. And today is 23, which is here. All right, let's see. Today we're having waffles, so maybe we can put jelly on waffles. I don't know, why not? This says, in the holiday spirit. Okay, what did we get? We got... Mango raspberry lime spread. Hmm. That sounds like it'll be a little tart, but hey, maybe it'll be good. We'll see. And last but not least, as usual, uh, there you'll get it. My teas, which is still a very heavy, heavy box because all the teas are still in there. I only had one cup of each, so. All right. And we're looking at number at, oh, there goes the. All right, we'll get that later. 23. We actually repaired that earlier in the session, but unfortunately it fell back off. All right, so 23. And today I have, oh, weird. Chocolate vanilla herbal tea to sane. Hmm. I definitely will be having that today and give it a shot. All right, guys, we're going to go make waffles. There's my waffle maker. We'll see you in a little while. Well, you can tell we slept late today because it's pretty bright outside. <laughs> Turtle, come on, Advent. Come on, baby. We're doing day 20. Oh, there's actually 25 days on this calendar. Turn to get a Christmas present, but today we're doing number 23. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. <gasps> a penguin. Look, look, it's a penguin and she smells like catnip and you're not interested. She didn't like the penguin. Where's Miss? 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 You want the penguin? Miss actually came bounding in. This is so funny. Miss, here, look. <gasps> penguin. It smells like catnip. Miss? No? Oh, you all suck. <laughs> well, we're actually going to be doing this on the 25th, it looks like, too. I didn't realize that. So, two more days to go for the cats. Good morning, everybody. Not showing face again today because it is Friday. We have no doctor's appointments today and I have nowhere to go. So I am still in my pajamas <laughs> and I don't care. And I'm gonna do that and watch some Hallmark Christmas movies. And then later we'll get uh, dressed for dinner. <laughs> anyway, have you ever had a day like that? It's the best day ever when you don't have to go anywhere and you don't have to do anything. So we did not get the blizzard we thought we were gonna get. <laughs> It's like blowing like crazy. I don't know if y'all can hear the wind in the background, but no snow that, that hit or hit hard at all. So, so much for the big blizzard. I was kind of hoping for one. <laughs> um, anyway, here we go with the body shop on our first of the day uh, advent calendars. We are on number 23, which is a big one right here on the top. Right, Turtle? Right? Say hi, everybody. She's over here, but she's not. Want to be on camera? Huh? Turtle? Hi. Yeah, I'm just going to say hello to everybody. Turtle? Oh, she doesn't want to say hello. Want to say hi or no? All right, never mind. She doesn't want to say hi right now. <laughs> so, there she goes. Goodbye. Um, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Invite a friend over to share that festive magic. Well, even though we watch a million Hallmark movies this time of year, yes, we are one of those people. We both agree A Christmas Story is the best. <laughs> and we watched the um, re revised Christmas story this year, the, the new version on HBO, it was fantastic. Yes, even Turtle agrees, right? You agree? Yeah. But um, first we were like, oh no, they, they remade the movie with the, the same actors, that's kind of cool, but at the same time we're like, oh, they're just gonna suck. But it was fantastic, it was so good. All right, big ass vitamin E, gentle facial watch, 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 I'm telling you, I just woke up. Anyway, so this is great, look at that, full size. So I sure hope I like it. 
I'm actually sure I will. Oh, it's got raspberry seed oil. Hmm. I like sometimes getting a full size, but if it's not something I like, then I feel bad because then it's like, it's not like, it's not. All right, Turtle's literally behind me right now, walking slowly. Turtle, what are you doing? Hold on a minute. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? Come here. Come say hello to the people. Get it. <laughs> here. Say hello. Look, it's a body shop calendar. Say hello to people. Hello, people. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's like climbing all over me. She's being lovey-dovey. All right, so that's the body shop. We'll come back for more. And I won't be as uh, talkative next, next Let's do L'Occitane next. 23 is up here. And I keep double-checking to make sure this one only has 24 as well. So I think some of these are going to be done tomorrow. But let's go ahead and open up 23. Whoops. Oh, that's a tough one. There it goes. Ooh. Wait a second now. I think I'm opening 24. Oops. I didn't see what was inside. 23 is over here somewhere. Okay, I was gonna say 24 probably would have been the bigger one, right? Here we go. Here's 23. Oh, it's pretty big too. Okay, I have to look at 24. I don't wanna be cheating. Oh, here we go. We got it. All right. 23 is a bar of soap. Um, it looks like Savon Corp's body soap with almond oil. Ooh, actually, Phil would probably like that. He likes almond soap. All right, thank you very much on the uh, L'Occitane body, uh, body soap. All right, Kiehl's is up next. So funny how light this is after you get almost all things out. <laughs> um, 23 is a little tiny one in the corner. Push it down so it'll be easier to get out. All right, little cute one. Let's see again, 23. Oh, pretty. It's like purpley colored. It is mm, multi-corrective eye zone treatment. So when I, I uh, an eye cream. I like the color of that. I don't know why. I like purple, as a lot of you do know, but that's like a really cool looking color. All right, so we got another eye cream, and that's not too bad. Oish. <laughs> I just beat the heck out of this calendar again. <laughs> I think this is the most torn apart calendar we had this year. Here was 23. See, 23. It took me forever to open, but here it is. I had to push it from the back. I literally pushed this from the back to get it out, but I didn't read it yet. I'm being honest with you. Here we go. This is a a body wash. Okay, that's good. And it is soft and fresh body wash. I thought we had a body wash. From, oh, I think we had a body scrub or something. I have to go look at my list. Um, oh, this has rose in it, though. You know what? I think we did have a body wash, but it was like lavender or something. This one's white. White rose. Huh. All right, we'll give that a try. Clarence up next. Can't believe tomorrow's our last day. Well, mo our last day of most of the calendars. Some of the calendars have 25. I think so far the cat calendar has 25. But then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Sunday, we start the first day of Christmas. We only have two calendars, one for Phil and one for I. And we're going to probably, we're trying to figure out that we should do an Instagram short story or we should just do a YouTube, um, uh, whatever, live for those. Because it only takes like three minutes to do those. So we might just do it through the live. Anyway, um, 23. Oops, that's what we did. Well, maybe not. We'll come down here. Yeah, from Clarence. And ooh, an instruction sheet. Um, okay, I had this last year. It's called Energizing Emulsion Soothe Your Tired Legs. Now, the funny thing is, it smells a little medicine y, if I remember correctly. Actually, let me smell it, make sure this is the right thing, so I don't say the wrong thing here. Yeah, it's almost got like a eucalyptus type smell to it. Um, I used this last year when my legs were doing pretty good. <laughs> This year I'm having some leg issues we won't go into, but maybe this will help with my leg issues this year. Um, but it does smell a little bit medicine-y, but it's a really tiny bottle. It goes pretty quick. All right, guys. And last for today is Yves Rocher. And number 23 is right here. Little thin one. 23. Oh, dive into the... <laughs> that actually tells you what it is. I don't like to read that. That's The body shop has little sayings. This one has more of a... Here, that's what you're going to get inside. Oh, cute. Sir Land, Sir La Land, La Land. Oh, it's a perfume. We did not get a perfume from Eroche last year. Hold on. Let's open it up and see. It looks kind of butter. We didn't get many perfumes this year, did we? Last year I had a whole bunch of little tiny, uh, well, the Christian Dior calendar had a ton of little tiny perfume samples, so that's probably why. Um, but this one is Sir de La Land. Let's see, I'll smell it. Let's see, I'll tell you how it is. Um, Oh, it's, well, you can't smell it, but it smells a little fruity, like a little bit of a fruit note to it, but it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's kind of strong. No, it's not bad. I, I might try it and see how I, how I like it on, but on my wrist, it's 
it's actually it's nice as it's sitting for sitting for a second it's it's actually really nice so that's a win for uh, perfume i don't wear a ton of perfume but i have a ton of perfume when i work from home i'd love to hear what other people think about this when you work from home do you a get fully dressed <laughs> do you b put perfume on uh c makeup question mark i would answer on the daily number one would be sometimes there are days I just throw a shirt on and fix my hair <laughs> take a shower I call it my lunchtime shower um, B I definitely um, uh, what was I gonna oh, put perfume on sometimes I do because I'm like you know what I have all this perfume I don't care I'm gonna put some on today even though I'm not going anywhere and the third one would be the makeup and I would say 99% no makeup because zoom has that filter that looks like I have makeup on and why should I put a bunch of makeup on for you know the mirror in the house <laughs> so I do save money on makeup now, I'll tell you that. Anyway, so that's that was just my little question of the day. Feel free to answer below or totally ignore me. Hey, today was a good day. We got a full-size facial wash. We've got some body gel, um, I'm sorry, like a soap for the tub, two soaps for the tub actually. A new perfume, first one we've had yet. Uh, energizing leg something or another from Lara Clarence. And we had the eye cream from Kiehl's. Very good day. I made Phil wear a hat. <laughs> and his head also has lights, it's hard to see because from top of his head. Bend your head down so you can see. See? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're wearing hats because it's freaking cold. Yeah. And I had a hat on when I was outside for a little bit. So. Negative, ne negatives, negatives today. And yes. wind and craziness. And like minus poor, 30 wind chill. Poor birds are all scrambling around the birds for this reason. <laughs> Wish I could give them a heater. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the last day before New, Year New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Christmas Eve. There we go. So today we have a lot of things to open. And tomorrow, and then after that, we have very little things to open on Sunday. Yep. For Christmas, but yep. Let's start with the wine today. Keep All us right. warm. Hopefully, it's a good wine. Turtle, can you get Excuse me, wine? turtle. It's always going to be right in front of the wine. I know, yeah. right in front of the door. Twenty-three. How oh, good this one didn't fight to come out. Let's okay. see. We have Bordeaux Chateau Tour de Mirambo. Oh, sounds French. <laughs> it does. Uh, well, Bordeaux, so uh, I assume France. Doesn't say. No. <laughs> but I assume Bordeaux. So there we go. Let me see. Maybe maybe I'm missing it. It's probably on there. Chateau Tour de Mouvre. Espana at the bottom. We've oh. opened their wines before. All right. The Spain. No, it's de Espana. Yeah, it's D E. Yeah, I guess it's Spain. Espana. All right. Product of France, though. It says right on the back. Oh. Who the hell knows? Just well, Bordeaux this. would be France. Hopefully it tastes good. There right. we go. 23. <laughs> Decoding the origin. Do you think we had a different cookie today? Do you think it's going to be the same cookie since we had a different cookie yesterday? I don't know. Maybe they give us some unique stuff Maybe. toward the end. No, they don't. Okay. All right. Ooh, this, is... this is just the decorated shortbread again. This is the one with the blue and mm. white sprinkles that I can have. Turtle, would you like the turtle cookie? Turtle, you don't want the wine. Cookie? Cookie, mama. Oh, cookie. <laughs> Turtle's all interested in the wine oh, for some cookie. reason. Turtle, this wine is not going to reflect light on the table. So. Only one more cookie left in this calendar. So, so far we've had one unique one in the last whatever, 20 plus days. Yes. So I think tomorrow is probably going to be a duplicate again. What do you think? Um, mm. I don't know. It'd be nice if it was unique. This smells funny. Funny? It's got a tang to it. I'm afraid to put it in. I'll get all puckered. Tangy. Hmm. Kind of complex. I like it. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll do that for later. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe it'll open up a little. Yep. We always say that. We'll open up a little. <laughs> Bring back yesterday's wine. It was really good. Oh yeah, the port was nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, puzzle time. Yeah, I like that one. Only one puzzle left to do tomorrow. Yep. We can put this back in the, the 
Um, yeah, one more puzzle left. It's very yep. sad. The other one, however, is coming along nicely, and I'm thinking I'm going to put some glue on that one because it's all wood. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with the puzzle. It's beautiful, but it it's just very loose because it's wood. Yeah. So I mean, maybe I'll, I'll just you know mod podge it and just keep it permanent. Yeah, give it a shot. And then, you know, you can actually use those not that we would, but the twenty four um, drawers to do other advent stuff. You know, put little you know treats in there or something. True. Tiny Good. like Hershey Kisses or something. Yep. An idea. All right, guys, it is time to play second to last day of Advent. Exit. Exit. Yep. Exit Advent. Mm -hmm. Again, disclaimers. Yes. Don't watch this if you don't you play yours yet. We're playing the actual, showing the actual solution, yes. Well, first we have to get the solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I get to read today because it's the odd day, mm -hmm. 23rd of December. <clears throat> you climb the ladder to the hatch in the ceiling. The metal hatch slams to the floor as you push it open. You pull yourself up and find yourself face to face, come on, with a tiger. I thought it'd be a Yeti. <laughs> In shock, you almost fall back down into the excavation cave. You hold your breath and then notice the tiger does not blink. Phew, oh, lucky, good. only a tiger skin rug. How the hell do you not know it's a rug? Oh, anyway, who knows? You climb to the top, let the metal hatch fall shut and hope you don't rip off the tiger's head. Oh, trip over the tiger's head. <laughs> I'm thinking gory stuff. Now that would be too much of a cliche. You look up and your next thought is purely wow. A little later you add, what a panorama. Through the huge pane of glass you see stunning slowy slopes. The sun is still low. You can almost willingly spend time staring at the view but you're not crazy enough to develop Stockholm Syndrome. Great, okay. For those who are too young to know that, look it up, Google. You pull yourself together and concentrate on your real goal. You want to get away from here. Your stomach growls in agreement and urges you to hurry. Your host could have really provided better service. Yeah. I don't think he cares. <laughs> On the bar, there are a few open bottles with somewhat dubious contents and an empty bag of pretzel sticks. No. Empty. Your, great. Yeah. Your last hope is a cookie jar. It's probably like Harry and David cookie jar. <laughs> but in it, you only find a stuffed toy moose and a funny cardboard card. You are hungry enough to consider eating the card when you remember that you might need it to get out of here. Curiously, you examine the panorama again, and particularly the main, I'm sorry, the many small flags in front of it. Hmm. Now open door number 23. Okay. Behind you will find two riddle cards, W1 and W2, and four strange items, a moose, a triangle, and two stands. All right, mm, let's see what we get there. One, two, three. 23. Two little cards and four. W1, W2. Yep. And some four. other interesting looking things. A moose, one of them is a moose. It is a moose. Yep. And some stands. For the moose. Apparently. That's it. What about and inside? Let's see what's in. Oh, a bunch of flags. Uh, there's the rug. White tiger skin rug. Yep, a bunch of flags. So I'll hold that up. It's not too exciting. Move my glass. But yes, you do, well, you can kind of see there's some flags in there and it goes all the way around the room and tiger thing on the floor. So wonderful. This is interesting. It says, actually it doesn't say anything. It shows you a picture to take off, like a, to take off a door, I'll say. It says take off a door. You're basically gonna put the stands on this um, picture puzzle. Mm. You can show that. Okay. And then it says, it seems we're getting to the end. Yes, tomorrow. And many things will change. The way to it is hard, my friend, but not beyond your range. Hmm. Keep this card to find your way. Don't wander from the path. You'll know you found the destination if a fire burns in the hearth. And then it shows those symbols. Here, show the symbols on the bottom. Oh boy. So I guess it's obvious that there's only one door left. Yep. And they're telling us it may not be the right door. Yeah. By the way, those are the symbols that you'll find on the doors on yeah i mentioned that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but the point is there's only one door left that's not marked so you would think okay that's going to be the last door of the game but this is telling you don't even don't try to think it's going to be that easy basically no so <laughs> maybe this, it won't be this will be interesting it won't be 24. all right guys we'll play here in a little bit and we'll uh hopefully let you know the answer okay all right we did it again yep but after we figured it all out and we both came to the conclusion we were right mm -hmm. i said you'll see why in a minute i said let's just check the just because. We just wanted to make sure yeah. we weren't wrong for tomorrow. We were right though. So we did check the 
you know, clue panel just because we want to make sure we did it right. Yeah. We did. But explain, it's a little hard to explain, but maybe you can explain. Sure. So remember I showed there were flags inside the room, different colored flags that had numbers on them. First thing you'll notice is there are different colored flags back here with no numbers. Well, the way that works is you, I'll try to kind of hold this well, up. Show, show where you're putting it though, so we'll understand a little bit better. There we go. Okay, got it? Got it, yep. So on the board, there's a little triangle down here and there's A, B, and C over here. You take the triangle and you put it here and you take the moose, moose. and you face him toward the left over here and then you look and you can't do it like that. Just explain it. I'll try it. Uh, you look through, and actually, it might work if I do yeah, it. Yeah, it's like you fill up. Anyway, <laughs> you'll see when the moose, you, you get this flag, this flag, and this flag. Okay, so you're looking so, through the triangle yeah. and the moose's antlers to see what flag shows up on right. A, B, and C. Basically, it's Phil's trying to say that. Then you go back into the box and look up those color flags, and it spits out three numbers, of course. Three, two, seven. Right. So here's the tricky part. So now we're on 23. Yep. And we start to move three, two, seven. Here we yep. go. Ready? And of course, this is the only one that's left, right? Like, right. So okay. So gotta go there. So here we are. Down to the left. Yep. Down to the right. Down to the right. Down to the left. Down to the left. And then you wind up on the box we've already been on, so you're like, okay, we did something like, wrong. Wait, we're, we're on 11. Wrong. But the card says, I'll read the card before Phil opens it. Mm -hmm. You'll know you found the right destination if a fire bar burns in the, in the hearth. Well, there's a fire there's there, a fire. and on the floor it says, <laughs> welcome, welcome back. back. And look where my thumb is. So now we're thinking, okay, how are we going to make that 24? Yeah. Well, there's another snowball on right. the back side of the door yep. that you put snowball in 24 right for tomorrow. And I'm assuming safely tomorrow will lead us probably up to the one that's empty. We don't know yet. Yes. But it was a little tricky. Um, so yeah, we're in the right spot. And I'm guessing we keep this card for tomorrow because it says, keep this card to find a way. So maybe we keep this card for tomorrow and it'll tell us why there's a conversion at the bottom. I don't know why the conversion though. It makes no sense, the conversion. Maybe tomorrow we'll know. I don't know. But either way, we got into the right box. Yes. So that was the good news. Yep. So one more day tomorrow to get this guy out of the cave. Yep. I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like it's never going to end, but maybe it actually will end tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll say, to finish this game, you have to buy exit number 20. What? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like so, so more games. What, like those free games you download on a tablet and then you start playing the game and like, oh, there's in-app purchases. Like, what? They're all, they all have that now, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Yep. Bye. Bye.